Hi friends, welcome to my channel Civil Guru 04. And uh, today we have exercise number four for chapter number five that how to apply the alignment editing tools in AutoCAD Civil 3D. In the previous exercise number three, we have experiment that how to use grips to edit alignments. So before starting this tutorial kindly subscribe my youtube channel civil guru 04 and you can also like my facebook page land developer and architect designer here you can see my real time projects and you can also share your issues i will explain them in a video so let's start our tutorial you know uh, grips are wonderful tools to edit geometry that is already there but what if you need to add a point of intersection or draw a curve for that you need to alignment you need the alignment layout tool toolbar this toolbar is the same one you used initially to lay out the alignment in this exercise uh, we will edit the jordan court alignment using the alignment editing tool so the goal is to create a perpendicular intersection where jordan court meets emerson road Step number one, as usual, kindly uh, take your notebook and write down all steps. Open the drawing name editing tools located in the description link. If you did not get that, kindly write me and comment. I will provide you that drawing personally. So, step number uh, to click the Jordan Court alignment here we have Jordan Court alignment so when we select this and then click geometry editor you can see a geometry contextual tab will open when you click on alignment then click on the geometry editor on the ribbon so this open the alignment layout tools bars you can see step number three on the alignment layout toolbar click insert pi point of intersection here we have delete pi here we insert pi point of intersection click then snap to the center of the circle mark A. You can see mark A and then click on the center of mark A. Step number four, click delete sub entities. Here you can see delete point of intersection, but we need delete entities. So here we have delete entities. Then click the curve at the point of intersection mark B you can see we have not curved now step number 5 click the tangent between A and B to remove it as well if this this one we need to remove then we will add the curves Step number six, expand the curve button. Here you can see curve button. When you click here, it will expand and click more floating curves. More floating curves. And then click floating curve from entity, radius and length. 
step number seven click the tangent near point a type o for counterclockwise there you can click here also and then press enter to indicate a counterclockwise direction we have already done step number nine type 30 and press enter to provide the radius step number 10 type 30 again and press enter to provide the curve length you can see down it's asking for curve length a short curve is placed at the end of tangent step number 11 on the alignment tool bars expand the curve button and select free curve free curve between two entities and radius this one select this step number 12 click the curve you just created in the previous step yes we have created this one and step number 13 click the red tangent that begins at point B this tangent now step number 14 press enter to indicate that the solution is less than 180 degree it's already selected so we can enter then type r and uh, step number 15 sorry type r and then press enter to indicate that it's a reverse curve so we can select here also now step number 16 type 30 and press enter to provide the radius And then press enter to end the command a new curve is created in the drawing and step number 17 save your drawing and close as you can see uh, we added Jordan code alignment uh, using the alignment layout tools so we can edit any alignment use these all commands our goal was to create the perpendicular intersection where Jordan court meets so it's the perpendicular with Jordan court alignment so you can edit any alignment using these alignment layout to pass hope you like this video if you like kindly subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get latest notification about my latest video thank you goodbye